Alright, good um, evening, folks. Uh, it's your boy, the G Flash, and tonight we have the Loki banner trailer, and I'm with GDK and Ken Doc here. Hello. All right, so uh, we already know most of the Loki stuff from uh, the the banner trailer. I'm not banner, the Fate channel. So uh, this is going to be kind of a quick video, basically, because uh, we're just going to know what the remaining units is. And yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to play the trailer now. Uh, okay, yeah. it's kind of surprising that they're using the. Uh, seen what I look like oh, of course they they what still censored her art <laughs> because of YouTube's uh, copyright demonetization system. I'm guessing. Yeah. Which one's mine? This is very funny. Yeah. Yeah, it really, it really is on the uh, fact that you know they've also got some other like units that they've never done that with. Yep. But I, play it safe. But I will say this though, I am kind of uh, kind of glad that, you know, we are getting a chance to have a proper Loki, even though that I still do like to use her original form. Her OG. From back in West and from back all the way in Moose Bell. Alright, so I just pause at the point where what part are you at, G? I'm, uh, I'm uh, playing it right now. The one where she comes in and destroys Aster. Oh, yeah. You at the oh, Aqua? Enjoy this. Mm -hmm. So long, Aster. Nothing. <laughs> I'm just pause it when you, when you, get, you see the year. All right. Okay, so we knew about Ultra, Thor, and Atiri to begin with. I mean, green is not going to be too much of a pleasant color. Yeah. I... And Ken Dog is also doing uh, Pokemon Violet here, so. <laughs> yeah, we're just vibing. Just All a right, joke. I paused it. Okay, okay. so. We already uh, know what Loki does, so she's a dark mythic, and uh, she, and then, just a little recap, so her supreme fuck is Kanto 1, uh, Wrathful Staff, minus some special cooldown, and then, uh, at start of turn, and basically she gives herself the every turn pulse effect, I think, and then mm -hmm. she does attacking res based on like her res 20 percent of her res uh plus six she doubles and then she uh deals true damage based on her res so yeah that's basically her weapon discover return plus glitter of light which is from hortensia um and then she's got attack res cat dazzling discord which is basically the discord status uh discord uh a ploy with uh dazzling staff most likely uh -huh. um, and then divine to say this is a pretty banana sea sloth skill so basically this making her like a better walking tactics room from aether raids so she basically puts ploy exposure gravity and a bunch of other shenanigans so yeah basically just think of her as a flying tactics room but yeah but oh. better yeah, yeah but, but here's the thing, though. Would we consider her to be the better he, uh, healer out of the game thus far? I think she's pretty bananas. Also, I need that golem back, by the way. Yeah, so I'll give you the golem. But anyway, uh, Loki herself, I mean, the whole the whole thing with, uh, with this uh, girl, with this lady, Considering the fact that we first met her back in book two, and then have it again, and then about say one or two years later in book four, I believe, when she had herself a spring variant, and then not to mention also the amount of times that she came in and the different pr paralogs or basically Tibbet's trials, basically causing chaotic situations and stuff. And now we're getting to see her in her true form. Like, 
that there has to be some reason why they're doing this to begin with. Yup. Uh, we'll about that. Um, I'm, just, I'm just curious to know because I mean, considering the fact that we are in the uh, close to, I mean, we're basically getting into the midpoint book, but it makes me wonder why go on ahead and uh, pull out this kind of uh, kind of stunt? Because uh, to me, it feels like that they're trying to get us ready for the next book for for when December comes. In my mm -hmm. personal opinion, yeah. All right, oh, yeah, and then. So, so her description is she can weaken many foes at once. Her special is effective against high res and uh, against high res and prevents counter attack. Yep. All right. Um, and then, uh, let's see about the other people on this banner. Uh, you can keep so, that bombing uh, uh, So, Red, we have got Legendary Yuri, Nana, and Severa. Yuri is still decent. I mean, he's got his attack speed Hexploit, although you could get that on the regular Dogger now. That's like her remix skill. So that's a little bit easier to get. I mean, Yuri himself, you can still pull out the hit and run and whatnot with him. I mean, at least he couldn't be slowed down too much by uh, Kanto Control. So that's that. Nana mm -hmm. actually still aged decently well with her complete uh, DR Piercing Sword. So that's at least good. And then Severa is just a uh, buffer for and then got like reflexes, attacks me finish for fodder. So she's a golden fodder, basically. So if you mm -hmm. haven't reached to her in Divine Codes, you can try to get her here for got like reflexes and buffer for. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. Blue, we've yeah. got a pretty good pool. We got Nerfu's Veil and Ryan Daddy, the uh, arcade version. So, yeah, if you need more arcade thunders on people, uh, pull your Ryan Daddies. Uh, oh, veil wow. is still good with her Drive Scowl support. And then hey, Nerfu's is still hey, a good Gale Forcer. No, we call Nerfu's Goat Mommy. <laughs> yeah, go go Auntie. Right. Yeah, go Auntie. I call uh, him go, Green is kind of the weaker pool because everybody yeah. in here is showing their age now, especially Ultra Master One right here. Uh, Ultra mm. Master One definitely needs his uh, uh, his big we, armor we, buff now. We yeah, we need we need his pay to win buff. Okay, also I'm gonna give you back the the um, yeah, gravel yeah, since yeah, it's, yeah, it's just okay. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like that, uh, I, I get the concept of why they did the green pool the way they did, but oh. also at the same time, it just uh, feels like, um, you know, they're trying to make people go for the more expensive or basically more yeah. high end, uh, units here. Instead of basically, for so basically, yep. do not pull green on this band. Green's a bad, not well, well, I mean, I'm going. I'm going to be pulling for all the colors here, because yeah, I mean, because I mean, fun. when you when you go for me, I mean, I want to be able to plus ten and basically every unit in the game. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Not to mention, also at the same time, I do like Thor, and I will be lucky to at least maybe get something decent when she gets herself a remix later in the future. That is true. So you, if you, yeah, but yep. like. Yeah, all right. That. So, and then Carlos, you got a really strong pool with Loki, Guinevere, and Genungu Gap. So, you got two arcane units in this banner. So, that's epic. Genungu Gap has the arcane voice. So, you want to slap that on your dagger units? Uh, go right ahead and do that for sure. Uh, Guinevere is still good with her um, healing support and her Ariola tone. And then Loki, we don't need to ex go into her anymore. Uh, so I, I say this is a solid uh, selection right here. So go for colorless and then blue and then red and last is green, basically. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, here you go. Take this. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. It's, like I said, it's super short. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think of Loki after you're seeing how this banner pool lines up now. Uh, are you gonna pull for our newest flying tactics room? Or what else you're gonna do? 
Also, if you mm -hmm. like what I do, like, share, and subscribe. You want to see me do more of these. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. It's your boy, the G Flash, signing out.